Dubai Air Show 2025 marked the most significant international appearance of Russia's Su-75 Checkmate program since its inaugural debut four years earlier. The fighter spent several years in a state of informational limbo, appearing only in digital models or animations with limited verifiable progress shown to the public. Many observers believed that the program had slowed or been suspended. Instead, Russia used the Dubai event to send a coordinated message confirming that Checkmate is advancing, that its prototype is being finalized, and that both the manned and unmanned versions continue to hold strategic importance in export and industrial planning. The clarity of this message was due mainly to statements made by Sergei Bogdan, chief test pilot of the Sukhoi Design Bureau, and Alexander McKeeve, director general of Rosoboron Export. For many observers, the most important revelation from Dubai was Sergei Bogdan's confirmation that the Su-75 is not just a conceptual design, but a real prototype already inside the production facility. He explained that the aircraft is in the finalization stage and undergoing preparation for ground stand tests. Ground testing marks the crucial transition from design to physical verification, including structural checks, avionics integration, hydraulic validation, engine installation, and power-on testing. His statement placed the program firmly in the late prototype phase, countering claims that development was still incomplete or uncertain. Bogdan repeated that the Su-75 retains the defining features of a fifth-generation fighter. These include stealth shaping, internal weapon storage, advanced avionics, open architecture software, and sensors for both air combat and precision strikes. However, he identified the single-engine layout as the program's most important design decision. According to him, a well-engineered single-engine fighter can perform most missions normally assigned to heavier twin-engine aircraft while reducing purchase cost and long-term maintenance expenses. For export buyers with budget or modernization constraints, he presented Checkmate as an ideal balance of capability, survivability, and affordability. The most widely discussed announcement at the air show was Bogdan's statement that the first flight of the Su-75 is planned for early 2026. This timeline supports the engineering teams working on ground testing, taxi trials, and flight readiness clearance. It also signals to international defense markets that the program is moving along a defined development path. This helps counter the belief that resource competition with the Su-57 or other programs has slowed progress. The 2026 first flight date is especially significant for export prospects. Many interested countries in the Middle East and Asia have shown interest but have waited for a verified flight demonstration. A successful flight would begin formal contract negotiations, allow demonstration flights, and shift the program from promotional displays to operational testing. For Rosaboron Export, this date represents a crucial commercial milestone. Many media outlets in Russia and abroad reported that Russia presented an upgraded prototype of the Su-75 in Dubai. However, most did not clarify what had actually been updated. The improvements were not major aerodynamic changes, but refinements that indicated progress from concept to near-complete prototype. Journalists who examined the mock-up noted that the airframe looked more refined and closer to a production-ready structure. The surfaces showed better contour shaping, cleaner lines, and a stronger finish than the versions displayed in 2021 and 2023. The nose, cockpit section, and intake edges displayed detailing that earlier mock-ups lacked. These refinements suggested that the mock-up mirrored the actual aerodynamic and structural design being prepared for the real prototype. Media coverage also noted that the internal weapons bay concept was demonstrated more clearly than before. Although no detailed explanation was given regarding changes to the bay layout, the presentation emphasized internal weapons storage, which is a key fifth-generation feature. This remains a major selling point for customers seeking stealth capabilities without Western restrictions. Another major aspect of the update 
was the improved presentation quality rather than structural changes to the aircraft. Russia displayed new digital animations, updated posters, and more precise export configuration visuals. The mock-up appeared less like an early concept and more like a representation of the planned production configuration. These refinements indicated program maturity and supported Bogdan's statements about nearing real prototype status. The most visibly new feature in Dubai was the introduction of an unmanned version of the Su-75. Russian sources stated that this drone version is now part of the updated Checkmate family. The unmanned variant was not a separate aircraft, but a configuration based on the same core design. This shows that Checkmate is designed with flexibility for piloted and pilotless roles, matching global trends toward optionally piloted and autonomous air combat systems. Displaying the unmanned version was highly symbolic. It transformed the Su-75 from a purely export fighter into a flexible multi-role platform. Countries wanting advanced unmanned strike abilities but unable or unwilling to join Western drone programs may find this option appealing. While Bogdan described the engineering status of the program, Alexander McKeeve outlined the export strategy. He emphasized that Russia presented one of its largest aviation portfolios in recent years. He expressed confidence that discussions at Dubai would lead to concrete agreements. McKeith presented the Su-75 as not just an aircraft for purchase, but a platform for joint development and possible cop reduction. He noted that many countries want technology sharing, licensed assembly, or local production, and said Checkmate is well-suited for such partnerships. One of McKeeve's most notable remarks involved discussions with Belarus regarding potential cooperative manufacturing or component production. Although no final agreement was confirmed, he said negotiations are continuing. This matches Russia's broader strategy of distributing defense production among partner states. McKeev also confirmed that Rosobron Export is ready to offer flexible export formats, including phased purchases, technology transfer, and licensed manufacturing. This reinforces the idea that Checkmate is both a weapon system and a diplomatic tool. International reactions ranged from cautious interest to detailed assessment. Analysts stated that the updated mock-up and official statements show that the program remains active despite pressure on Russia's aviation industry. Many interpreted the display as a signal that Russia intends to stay competitive in the global fighter market and will not withdraw from the lightweight stealth segment. The unmanned version in particular attracted attention because it aligns with global trends in drone warfare and mixed force structures. The updated design and confirmed schedule portrayed Russia as determined to maintain its presence in the rapidly evolving aerospace sector. In conclusion, Dubai Airshow 2025 provided the clearest and most complete update on the Su-75 Checkmate since its original unveiling. Sergei Bogdan's confirmation of early 2026 as the first flight date and his statement that the prototype is in the finalization stage firmly established the aircraft's progress. Alexander McKeeve's comments on export partnerships reinforced the program's strategic value for Russia's defense diplomacy. The updated model shown in Dubai demonstrated progress through refinement, improved internal layout presentation, and the official inclusion of the unmanned version. These elements showed a shift from conceptual promotion toward realistic prototype preparation. With timelines confirmed and expectations set, the next phase of the Su-75 will determine whether Checkmate becomes a major contender in the global lightweight stealth fighter market or remains an ambitious concept. As of Dubai 2025, the program shows momentum, clarity, and purpose. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us.